What starts as routine for police can quickly turn bizarre, with discoveries that blur the line between creepy and unbelievable. From a doll threatening the public to eerie objects hidden in deserted places, we'll reveal the strangest finds police have encountered, including the case where police find a tunnel under this house that leads them to a ridiculous surprise. Number 18, the Kingpin's Escape Tunnel. In a scene that could have been ripped from the pages of a high-stakes crime thriller, Joaquin El Chapo Guzman, the notorious Mexican drug lord, managed to slip through the fingers of authorities in 2014 using a secret weapon, an elaborately constructed tunnel hidden beneath his house in Sinaloa. The tunnel, a marvel of clandestine engineering, originated beneath a bathtub in one of Guzman's safe houses. When authorities raided the property, hoping to capture the elusive kingpin, they found themselves grasping at air as their target vanished into the bowels of the earth. As the investigation unfolded, the true scale of Guzman's subterranean escape route became clear. The tunnel, which stretched for over a mile and reached depths of up to 60 feet, had been painstakingly excavated using hand tools and rudimentary machinery. The tunnel's terminus was a nondescript abandoned building on the outskirts of the city, where Guzman emerged like a modern-day Houdini, leaving his pursuers dumbfounded and empty-handed. Number 17 the cocaine-laden wheelchair caper. In a plot twist that would make even Hollywood scriptwriters do a double take, a wheelchair at New York's JFK International Airport turned out to be more breaking bad than breaking barriers. This motorized marvel wasn't just carrying a passenger, it was rolling in dough, quite literally, with 60 pounds of cocaine worth a cool half million bucks. The wheelchair, belonging to a passenger who had just arrived on a flight from the Dominican Republic, had been flagged for additional screening by vigilant customs agents. As they carefully examined the motorized device, they noticed something peculiar about its weight and appearance. Upon closer inspection, the agents discovered that the wheelchair had been expertly modified, with its battery compartment hollowed out and filled to the brim with tightly packed bricks of pure cocaine. The passenger, a US citizen, feigned ignorance claiming that he had no idea how the drugs had ended up in his mobility aid. However, as the investigation deepened, it became clear that the passenger was no mere unwitting victim. Evidence suggested that he had been specifically targeted by a sophisticated drug trafficking ring, which had gone to great lengths to conceal their illicit cargo in the most unlikely of places. Number 16. The Terrifying Chucky Doll Accomplice Forget Haunted Houses one Mexican city got a taste of full-blown street horror when a man decided to take his Chucky doll on a terrifying tour, in a twist that would make even the bravest horror movie director say, cut. Zrinya residents of Monclova, Coahuila, found themselves dealing with a real-life slasher film come to life. The man, identified only as Carlos N., had been prowling the city's neighborhoods, clutching a large knife in one hand and a menacing, red-haired Chucky doll in the other. The doll, modeled after the iconic character from the Child's Play horror franchise, had been meticulously crafted to resemble its silver screen counterpart, right down to its scarred face and tattered overalls. As reports of the terrifying duo began to flood local police, officers quickly realized that this was no mere Halloween prank gone wrong. Carlos N., it seemed, had been using the Chucky doll as a twisted form of psychological intimidation preying on the fears of those who crossed his path. When police finally caught up with the man and his plastic accomplice, the scene that unfolded was as bizarre as it was unsettling. Officers, with guns drawn, approached the pair cautiously, unsure of what to expect. As news of the arrest spread, the public reacted with a mix of relief, disbelief, and dark humor. Social media exploded with memes and jokes about the Chucky doll's arrest with many wondering how a children's toy could be charged with a crime. Number 15, the great oil heist that never was. In a plot that puts most heist movies to shame, eight South Korean thieves decided to strike oil the old-fashioned way, by digging for it. Their target, not a desert oil field, but a pipeline running near a hotel. The mastermind behind the operation was a former employee of the Korea Oil Pipeline Corporation who used his insider knowledge to identify a vulnerable section of the pipeline near the city of Goyang. Armed with this information, 
he recruited a team of seven accomplices and set about putting his ambitious plan into motion. The first step was to secure a base of operations. The group rented out an entire hotel, convincing the owner that they were interested in purchasing the property. Once they had the building to themselves, they sealed off the entrances and began their clandestine work. For a full month, the thieves labored tirelessly, using hand tools to painstakingly dig a tunnel from the hotel basement toward the pipeline. The narrow, claustrophobic passage stretched over 650 feet, and the thieves took great care to conceal their activities. They worked in shifts, using electric fans to circulate air and prevent the buildup of noxious fumes. Finally, after weeks of grueling labor, the group reached a point just inches from the pipeline itself. Victory was within their grasp, and they prepared to reap the rewards of their audacious scheme. However, fate had other plans. Just as the thieves were poised to breach the pipeline and begin siphoning off the precious oil, law enforcement agents stormed the hotel. Acting on a tip from the Korea Oil Pipeline Corporation, which had detected unusual activity near the pipeline, the police quickly apprehended all eight suspects and put an end to their ambitious plot. Number 14. The Tunnel to Nowhere In a Florida suburb, a sinkhole decided to spice up local gossip by revealing the world's most ambitious shortcut to financial success. What started as a run-of-the-mill road hazard turned into a subterranean soap opera when authorities discovered this wasn't your average pothole, but rather an amateur attempt at recreating The Great Escape Bank Heist Edition. FBI agents soon swarmed the scene, working alongside local law enforcement to piece together the clues and unravel the mystery. As investigators carefully probed the depths of the sinkhole, their suspicions were confirmed. They had stumbled upon a clandestine tunnel. This narrow, claustrophobic passageway had been painstakingly excavated using hand tools and rudimentary digging equipment. The tunnel originated in a wooded area near the bank, its entrance concealed beneath a mound of dirt and foliage. From there, it snaked its way beneath the street, gradually descending to a depth of around four feet. The dark, musty passageway was barely large enough for a person to crawl through, a fact that only added to the sense of mystery and intrigue surrounding the case. As the investigation progressed, authorities uncovered a trove of evidence that painted a picture of a meticulously planned operation. Inside the tunnel, they found a generator, extension cords, and a variety of tools, all signs that the dig had been a long-term project, likely spanning several months. However, despite the wealth of physical evidence, the identity of the tunnel's creators remained elusive. No arrests were made, and no clear motive was established. Number 13. The Ancient Bog Body, Mistaken for a Modern Crime a routine call in Northern Ireland led police to an extraordinary discovery. What seemed like a modern crime scene revealed a 2,000-year-old secret, a human body perfectly preserved in a peat bog. This ancient mummy, untouched for millennia, instantly transformed a potential murder investigation into a remarkable archaeological find. The officers had been called to the scene in County Londonderry after receiving reports of a suspicious body. As they carefully navigated the marshy terrain, they mentally prepared themselves for the gruesome sight of a recent crime victim. However, as they drew closer, they realized that the body before them was unlike anything they had ever encountered. The corpse, belonging to a teenage boy estimated to be between 13 and 17 years old, had been remarkably preserved by the unique conditions of the bog. The cold, acidic, and oxygen-poor environment had effectively mummified the body, preserving intricate details such as skin, fingernails, and even internal organs. Experts were quickly called in to examine the extraordinary find. Through meticulous analysis and radiocarbon dating, they determined that the boy had lived and died around 500 BCE, during the Iron Age. The discovery of a so-called bog body provided an unparalleled glimpse into the distant past, offering invaluable insights into the lives and customs of ancient peoples. Number 12. The Shocking Tiger Cub Smuggling Attempt In what could be the world's worst attempt at hide-and-seek, a woman tried to sneak a tiger cub past customs at Bangkok's Suvarnabhumi Airport by burying it in a sea of plush lookalikes. Spoiler alert, tigers aren't great at hiding, even when sedated and surrounded by their stuffed cousins. As the woman's bags passed through the x-ray machine, 
The outline of a small, live creature caught the attention of vigilant security personnel. Upon closer examination, they discovered a shocking sight, a three-month-old tiger cub, heavily sedated and hidden beneath a pile of plush tiger toys. The cub, which weighed approximately 11 pounds, had been meticulously wrapped in blankets and placed in a cage designed to resemble a normal piece of luggage. The woman, a 31-year-old Thai national, had cleverly positioned the stuffed tigers around the cage to conceal the live animal from prying eyes. However, her plan was foiled by the keen instincts and training of the airport security staff. They immediately notified wildlife authorities and veterinarians, who rushed to the scene to assess the cub's condition. Number 11. The Fugitive's Cliffside Cave In a remote corner of China's Yunnan province, a manhunt that had stretched on for 17 years finally came to a dramatic end. Thanks to the keen eye of a police drone operator and the dogged determination of the officers on the ground, the target of the search was Song Jiang, a fugitive who had been on the run since escaping from a prison camp in 2002. For almost two decades, Jiang had managed to evade capture, disappearing into the rugged wilderness of his native province and leaving no trace of his whereabouts. But as technology advanced and the tools available to law enforcement grew more sophisticated, the net began to close around the elusive fugitive. In a last-ditch effort to bring Jiang to justice, Police deployed a fleet of drones to scour the treacherous terrain, hoping to spot some sign of their quarry. It was during one of these aerial sweeps that a sharp-eyed drone operator noticed something unusual, a small, ramshackle structure clinging to the side of a cliff, almost invisible against the stark, rocky landscape. As the drone moved in for a closer look, the operator realized that they had struck gold. There perched on a narrow ledge some 6,500 feet above sea level, was Jiang's hideout. The fugitive, now 63 years old, had been living in the cramped cave for years, subsisting on a meager diet of foraged plants and small animals. When police finally reached the cliffside dwelling, they found Jiang disheveled and disoriented, his once sharp mind dulled by years of isolation and hardship. The fugitive offered no resistance as he was taken into custody and his long run from the law was finally ended. Number 10. The Peanut Butter Pot Puzzle In a half-baked scheme that was more Looney Tunes than Ocean's Eleven, a passenger tried to sneak cannabis vapes past security in the stickiest of hiding spots, a jar of peanut butter. It all began when a vigilant TSA officer at Pittsburgh International Airport, tasked with screening checked luggage, noticed something peculiar about a seemingly innocent jar of peanut butter. Upon closer inspection, the officer discovered three small vape cartridges nestled within the creamy spread, each containing a concentrated form of cannabis oil. The passenger, whose identity was not disclosed, had carefully hollowed out a portion of the peanut butter, inserting the cartridges before resealing the jar. The idea, presumably, was that the dense and opaque nature of the peanut butter would conceal the cartridges from the prying eyes of airport scanners. However, the passenger underestimated the sophistication of modern security technology and the keen instincts of the TSA staff. The anomaly in the jar's contents was quickly detected, and the passenger was swiftly apprehended for questioning. Number 9. The Home Depot Bucket Millionaire Home Depot buckets are usually filled with nails or paint, not millions in cash. But when Miami police raided Luis Hernandez Gonzalez's mansion, that's exactly what they found. The suspected trafficker's attic hid a secret room where $24 million sat stashed in orange plastic buckets, a fortune that shattered his cover as a simple gardening equipment salesman. The raid, the result of a lengthy investigation by the Drug Enforcement Administration, targeted Gonzalez's North Miami-Dade home, a lavish estate that belied his humble origins. As agents made their way through the property, they discovered the secret room, accessible only through the attic. There, stacked floor to ceiling, were dozens of bright orange buckets, each one brimming with tightly bound stacks of $100 bills. The sheer volume of cash was staggering, with agents estimating that the total haul could be anywhere from 10 to $20 million, making it one of the largest cash seizures in Miami's history. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that Gonzalez had been leading a double life, using his gardening business as a front for a sprawling marijuana trafficking operation that stretched from Florida to Tennessee. 
The cash, likely the proceeds of his illicit enterprise, had been carefully hidden away, awaiting the day when it could be safely laundered and integrated into the legitimate economy. This DEA sting didn't just bust a criminal, it uncovered a treasure trove that would become a local legend. Number 8. The Creepy Clown Car Chase While Hollywood has transformed clowns from jolly entertainers to sinister figures, two pranksters in Menasha, Wisconsin decided to bring this terrifying trope to life. In a surreal scene straight out of the cinema, local police found themselves in hot pursuit of a car, driven by a pair of costumed clowns, turning the quiet streets into an impromptu circus of chaos. The incident began when concerned citizens started flooding the Menasha Police Department with reports of a pair of clowns driving around town, leaning out of their vehicle and chasing down unsuspecting motorists. Responding officers quickly located the suspects and attempted to pull them over, only to have the clowns speed off, igniting a high-speed pursuit. As the chase unfolded, the clown's erratic driving and eerie appearance added an extra layer of surrealism to the already bizarre situation. Witnesses reported seeing the clowns swerving through traffic, their brightly colored wigs and garish makeup a stark contrast to the flashing lights and sirens of the pursuing police cruisers. The pursuit finally came to an end when the clown's vehicle crashed into a ditch, allowing officers to apprehend the suspects. Upon further investigation, police discovered that the clowns were a 29-year-old man and his 20-year-old female accomplice, both of whom were taken into custody. However, the story took an even darker turn when police learned that the couple had left their four-year-old child home, alone for several hours, while they embarked on their clown-fueled rampage. The child was subsequently placed in the care of protective services, while the parents found themselves facing a litany of charges, including reckless driving, eluding police, and child neglect. Number 7. The Slippery Eel Smuggling Scheme In a slippery situation that gives new meaning to carry-on luggage, a group of passengers at Madrid Barajas Airport tried to turn their suitcases into impromptu aquariums. Their grand plan? Sneaking 48 live European eels onto a flight to China. The scheme began to unravel when eagle-eyed airport staff noticed something amiss with a group of passengers' luggage. Several suitcases appeared to be leaking, and upon closer inspection, a pungent odor wafted through the air. Suspicions raised, the staff immediately alerted the authorities, who sprang into action to investigate the unusual occurrence. As the suitcases were carefully opened, a jaw-dropping sight greeted the officers. Dozens of wriggling, slimy eels, each one carefully sealed in individual plastic bags and nestled among layers of damp cloth and ice packs. The passengers, a group of Chinese nationals, initially feigned ignorance, claiming that they were merely transporting a delicacy for friends and family back home. However, as the investigation deepened, a more sinister motive emerged. European eels, prized for their meat and believed to possess medicinal properties, command high prices on the Chinese market, fueling a thriving black market trade. As the eels were carefully removed from their suitcases and placed in the care of wildlife experts, the magnitude of the crime became clear. The passengers faced serious charges under both Spanish and international law, including smuggling, animal cruelty, and violations of the Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species. Number 6. The Methamphetamine Stuffed Burrito When it comes to breakfast burritos, most people stick to eggs and cheese. But one passenger at Houston's George Bush Intercontinental Airport decided to spice things up with a side of crystal meth. In a recipe for disaster that would make any food critic cringe, this culinary criminal attempted to wrap more than just beans in his tortilla. The incident began routinely enough with the passenger, whose identity has not been released, making his way through the airport's security checkpoint his carry-on luggage in tow. Little did he know that his culinary contraband would soon be the center of a major drug bust. As the burrito passed through the X-ray scanner, the eagle-eyed TSA agents noticed something peculiar about its density and shape. Upon closer inspection, they discovered that the breakfast staple had been carefully hollowed out, its savory filling replaced with a tightly wrapped package of the illicit stimulant. 
The passenger, clearly caught off guard by the discovery, fumbled for an explanation, claiming that the burrito was just an unusually hefty breakfast option. However, as the investigation proceeded and the full extent of the smuggling attempt came to light, it became clear that the man's story was as flimsy as the tortilla that had once concealed his contraband. Now it's time for today's subscriber pick. According to reports, a homeowner began renovations, expecting nothing unusual, but when they decided to remodel the bathtub, they uncovered a secret pathway beneath it. Curious and alarmed, they contacted law enforcement, sparking an investigation. Police find a tunnel under this house that leads them to a ridiculous surprise. Beneath the house lay a vast tunnel system, expertly constructed with two diverging routes leading to distant hidden exit points far from the property. Some speculate the house may have been a criminal hideout, with the tunnels serving as escape routes. What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. Number 5. The Racist Manifesto and Pipe Bomb Plot When Farouk Mamadov, the owner of a small auto sales lot in Campbell, California, noticed a suspicious man lurking around his property late one night. He had no idea that his quick thinking would ultimately lead to the unraveling of a sinister plot that could have ended in tragedy. The man, later identified as 32-year-old Wesley Charles Martinez, had been peering into cars and poking around storage sheds, his behavior setting off alarm bells in Mamadov's mind. Without hesitation, the businessman contacted the Campbell Police Department, hoping that a swift response might prevent a potential crime. When officers arrived on the scene and approached Martinez, they quickly realized that they were dealing with something far more serious than a simple case of trespassing. A search of the man's vehicle revealed a chilling cache of weapons, including two AR-style rifles, a Glock 9mm handgun, and a pipe bomb filled with steel pellets. But it was the discovery of a racist manifesto, filled with hateful rhetoric and detailed plans for an attack, that truly sent a chill down the spines of the responding officers. The document, a rambling tirade against minority groups and the government, painted a picture of a man on the brink of committing an unspeakable act of violence. As the investigation unfolded, it became clear that Martinez had been planning a large-scale attack, potentially targeting a sporting goods store or other crowded locations. The pipe bomb, with its deadly payload of shrapnel, had been meticulously crafted to maximize casualties and sow chaos. Number 4. The Cocaine Toupee Smuggler If anyone's brilliant smuggling plan involves looking like they're auditioning for a 1970s sitcom, it might be time to reconsider their life choices. One Colombian man learned this lesson the hard way at Barcelona Airport, where his cocaine-filled toupee didn't exactly fly under the radar. The audacious plan, which involved a carefully crafted hairpiece and a hefty helping of narcotics, quickly unraveled under the watchful eye of airport security. The man, whose identity has not been disclosed, arrived at the airport sporting a conspicuously large and ill-fitting toupee, which immediately caught the attention of customs agents. Upon closer inspection, officers discovered that the hairpiece was not only a fashion faux pas, but also a clever disguise for a significant quantity of cocaine, weighing in at just over 1.1 pounds. Investigators marveled at the intricacy of the smuggling attempt, noting that the cocaine had been meticulously molded to fit the contours of the man's head and was held in place by a network of hooks and clips. The street value of the seized narcotics was estimated to be around $34,000, highlighting the lengths that some will go to in pursuit of illicit profits. Number 3. The Tortoise House of Horrors In a shocking discovery that sent shockwaves through the conservation community, authorities in Toliara, Madagascar, uncovered a scene of unimaginable cruelty. An abandoned two-story house filled with over 10,000 critically endangered radiated tortoises, living in conditions that defied belief. Acting on a tip from concerned neighbors, who had reported a foul odor emanating from the property, police raided the house, unsure of what they would find inside. As they made their way through the building, the true scale of the horror began to unfold before their eyes. 
Room after room was filled with tortoises, their shells cracked and broken, their bodies dehydrated and malnourished. Many had already succumbed to the hellish conditions, their lifeless forms adding to the stench of decay that hung heavy in the air. Those that remained alive were barely clinging to life, their eyes sunken and their movements slow and labored. Investigators soon realized that they had stumbled upon a major hub in the illegal wildlife trade, with the tortoises likely destined for markets in Asia, where they are prized for their meat and shells. The scale of the operation was staggering, with the number of animals involved representing a significant portion of the remaining global population of radiated tortoises. Number two, the golden suitcase surprise. In a scene straight out of a spy novel, Italian police made a stunning discovery during a routine bus check. A suitcase filled with a glittering cache of 89 gold bars and a staggering $134,000 in cash, all belonging to a mysterious 58-year-old man. The discovery, which took place in the picturesque town of Sclafani Bagni, began when a team of police officers boarded a bus for a standard inspection. As they made their way through the vehicle, their attention was drawn to a nondescript suitcase, which seemed unusually heavy and gave off a telltale clink when moved. Upon opening the suitcase, the officers were greeted by a sight that left them momentarily speechless. Inside, carefully arranged like the pieces of a precious puzzle, were dozens of gleaming gold bars, their surfaces reflecting the sunlight streaming through the bus windows. Nestled alongside the gold was a substantial sum of cash, neatly bundled and stacked. The suitcase's owner, a 58-year-old man who claimed to be a goldsmith traveling from Switzerland to Italy, found himself at the center of a rapidly unfolding investigation. When pressed for documentation to prove the legitimacy of the gold and cash, the man was unable to provide satisfactory answers, raising a host of red flags for the officers on the scene. Number one, the Frozen Pet Cemetery. In a grim discovery that sent shockwaves through the animal welfare community, police in Arizona uncovered a macabre scene at the home of 43-year-old Michael Patrick Turland, a freezer containing the frozen remains of 183 dogs, cats, and birds. The gruesome find, which occurred in April 2022, was the result of a tip received by the Mojave County Sheriff's Office, which had been alerted to the possibility of animal cruelty taking place at Turlin's residence in Golden Valley. When officers arrived at the scene and executed a search warrant, they were confronted with a sight that defied belief. Inside a large freezer, the bodies of scores of animals were stacked like cordwood, their lifeless forms frozen solid. Some of the creatures had been dead for an extended period, while others appeared to have been more recently deceased. Disturbingly, investigators noted that some of the animals seemed to have been frozen while still alive, their final moments of terror and pain preserved in icy perpetuity. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.